and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. Thank you for clicking on this video and giving it a watch. If you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my YouTube family. If you are not new here, thank you for always clicking on my videos and giving them a watch. Don't forget the bell button, then you're notified every time I upload a new video. Don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment down below because all of those things will help my channel grow. Today for you, I have a Timu haul. I did do some Timu shopping for Easter, including most of our Easter outfits. So I'm really excited to show those so I can get them washed and ready for Easter this weekend. And then I have Easter basket stuff, some other random stuff that I ordered. Um, this one's not sponsored. I haven't done a sponsored video by Timu in forever. I just am buying stuff that I want. And that's what this stuff is. So we are going to start with the Easter outfits. I guess first, let me show you the one that didn't come from Timu. This is um, family of five, all five of us, the stuff I got for our Easter outfits. And my husband, I didn't find anything on Timu that I liked, but I did a color scheme of like a purple lavender color scheme. So I got his from Amazon and it's just a Gildan polo shirt. I think it was 17-ish dollars. So probably the most expensive too, because all the deals on Timu were really good. This came very purple. Um, I was not expecting it to be quite so bright, but it'll be good for Rockies games. We're in Colorado and this is where the Rockies play. All right, so my inspiration was Lorelai, my daughter. She's the one who likes us to do like kind of dress up together stuff. So um, I wanted to find something cute. This was the second dress I found for her because before I ordered the first one sold out, but I like this one better. And so it's this cute little floral dress with the purple flowers on it and then the top of it has these cute little ruffles and the pattern like you know starts a little sparse on the top and gets more and more as it gets to the bottom so i think that this dress is so cute i love it um and so that's that's what kind of sparked this whole um let's all wear kind of purple for Easter. Last year, me, Lorelai, and Cameron all match matched, and then I found things in the boys' closets that kind of matched, but this year I got us all something. Um, because Easter is in March and it's a little chilly, um, Lorelai's always cold and wants to wear something over her dresses, so I got her this to be able to wear over it. It's kind of like a waffle, waffle fabric, um, and it'll just kind of hit right at her hips, maybe just above her waist but it's got a little pearl button right there and some pearls and lace at the collar so I thought that was super cute it will dress up that dress you know since it's for Easter it'll make it real nice and dressy and then I got her a pair of shoes she doesn't have any good shoes right now for dressing up and um, we're gonna need some for the summer for her anyway and they had them in white but they didn't have them in her size in white so i just got the brown little sandals they're a nice neutral they'll go just fine with that dress and they'll go with pretty much anything because it's like a neutral color and i think these are really cute they have a velcro instead of a um like hook i don't know what they're called the you know the belt kind of style one and it so it'll make it so much easier for her to get them on and off so hopefully these fit her and work well um because i got them in her size so hopefully i didn't get the boys shoes i did just get braxton some hey dudes so they'll go great with his outfit and um eric just wears a pair of black nikes so they already have kind of solid shoes she didn't have like shoes to go with the dress though um i got this dress for me and so it's got the elastic right under the bust it's got these cute like fluttery sleeves and then it's for me it'll be really long probably almost down to my feet because I'm really short I'm only 5'2 um but yeah so that's the dress I got super excited the colors all blend really well because they're all different kinds of purple but they all like fit together you know and then this one's for my oldest son Braxton I got him like a heathered purple shirt same just like a polo polo top and yeah just a polo heathered purple shirt that goes really well and then eric the youngest we got him this cute like plaid shirt so i'm really excited i think they're all gonna be cute together i'm gonna try to do like a cute little family photo because we're all gonna be all cute in our little purple outfits um i don't know off the top of my head what everything costs it wasn't super expensive so i'm gonna have it all linked down below in the description box so if there's anything you are interested in head down there and look all right next so i had already hauled this once before they're play balls 
Um, I bought these when I did my friendship bracelet banners garlands for my best friend's birthday party and I wanted to make one for Lorelai and I ended up using my extras to make the one for the Chiefs um, Super Bowl game so I ordered another batch of these balls there's 20 of them and they weren't expensive at all and then I ordered another batch of the little styrofoam discs and I'm going to make Lorelai her own friendship bracelet like garland thing for her room to hang up I was considering doing it for Easter. Easter's coming up fast, so I don't know if it's going to happen for Easter, um, but her birthday is in August, so if it doesn't happen for Easter, it'll happen either just because or for her birthday. We'll see how that goes. Um, I or already ordered, and I believe I hauled, some of these bags, and I ordered another batch of them because this is how I'm going to organize my mini verses. I have a whole plan of doing like a mini verse setup after Easter because it's been too busy before Easter doing Easter stuff. And that includes taking everything out of their little um, circle ball things and putting them in here because they'll be easier to store until I do them. And so that's why I picked up another batch of these. There's 50 of them in here. I don't need quite that many, but I think that these bags have so many uses and they're so reasonably priced. These actually remind me of the packages that the makeup goes in at Dollar Tree when they get name brand makeup and they package it separately. It looks a lot like that. Um, and then I did pick up this. It is like a little to-do list notebook. I thought it was really cute. Um, it says to-do list. It gives you the check mark squares and then you can put the date. So this is my to-do list for today, you know, put the date on it or whatever day. I just thought this was really, really cute. It'd be cute too, like if I do Happy Meal or anything and I want to like write someone a note and write Amber's to-do list. I just thought it was a cute little notepad. So I scooped it up because it wasn't that much. Um, I picked this up. It's time for spring cleaning. Like we are like in, you know, that time frame where you should be spring cleaning. This is to clean out the dryer lint area. And it was a, a dryer lint brush. And look how nice and long it is. Like it should get like down in there and get a whole bunch of that lint out of there. Um, I have like a vacuum attachment too. So I maybe will do this and then do the a, a vacuum attachment to um, get any of the extra stuff. But I got that to clean out my dryer lint trap because that's like sketchy like when that gets really dirty. All right, this is probably, I just dropped something. One of the most expensive items I've picked up, sorry. Um, and it's a strainer, and I am really excited about this. So we've been, my daughter, she's been on a strawberry shortcake kick. I'm trying to find the spot where you open it. And so she's been, you know, using a strainer to wash strawberries a lot. This one just was so easy. So it's little, it's not like a huge strainer, but you can dump the stuff in there and like wash your strawberries, like do like a little bit of baking soda, vinegar, however you wash your produce. And then you dump the water out but everything stays in the strainer. I thought that that was such a neat little concept. So you can soak it and do all the stuff and then drain it, it stays in there and then you keep it like this and it's not dripping all over your countertops and making a mess. They had a few different colors. I just went with, this one's like an off-white, like a cream kind of color um, because out of what they had, it's what I liked the best. If they had a gray and a white, I would have picked that, but I'm excited about that. I think that that's gonna be so neat in the kitchen for fruit really is is what I thought and then I got myself a new cell phone case and it has palm trees on it um the one I have right now I really like but it's starting to kind of crack a little bit it's like sparkly and it's casemate I think so it's like a nicer brand but it's cracking like right in the seam areas and I honestly am pretty good with my phone I don't seem to drop it and stuff knock on wood that I um do pretty well with them but I thought this would be fun for as the summer comes up I love palm trees palm trees flamingos and pineapples are my jam and these palm trees have like a little bit of sparkle kind of in them so I just thought that that was really cute and it was only a couple bucks I think so I grabbed it for me I don't buy myself things very often when I do orders and so every so often you know oh and there's even a the little like and it's like silicone and like kind of stretchy um to be able to like carry your phone is that attached to the case or the phone oh yep there's a little i think it goes on this little spot right here on the case that's neat um i didn't even realize that that was in there so i grabbed that for me 
All right, and then I'm going to show you some of the stuff I got. Oh, I'll do this first. I think it was in my last haul. I hauled some little glasses that I got for my niece, and then I realized my other niece needed a pair too. So I got this pair for my other niece. So they're each going to get a pair of sunglasses and their Easter baskets from me. And they kind of are like Minnie Mouse resemblance. Um, when Lorelai saw them, she actually said that they look like Hello Kitty. And I'm like, the other pair are pink, I think. And they do also have like a Hello Kitty vibe or a um, Minnie Mouse vibe. So either way, they're just really cute with the little bow. And so they're each, and they're both little divas, like so cute, like wanting their purse and their hats and their hair ties and their glasses. And, you know, they're hitting that kind of like stage of their twos of just being adorable, really. So um, I got that to go in an Easter basket. So in my kiddos Easter baskets, I went the route that they're each getting a swimsuit and a pair of shoes for um like the going to the pool and stuff because i know this year easter is really early usually it's a little bit later in april in the spring and we're like a lot closer to pool time but i still wanted to do it anyway um so i have pulled all this out but I'm finding where it all is okay so for swimsuits I got for the boys just some swim shorts they both have swim tops Braxton prefers a swim top Eric said or miss if he wants one but I got these ones for Eric he likes two cans or he at least has in the past so we'll see if he wants to wear these or not but I think they're so cute with the little like rainforest animals let's see we have an orangutan a toucan <coughs> a zebra another bird is it a cockatoo maybe um, and there's a cheetah too. Yep. So just really cute with the palm fronds and everything. So love that. That's going in Eric's Easter basket. And then Braxton is, he's at that age where he's 13 and he'll be 14 at the very, very end of summer, like as we're moving into fall. And he's hard like right now of what he likes and doesn't like. So I just got him some solid black or these are gray solid gray light gray ones with the zipper pockets these like if you're going out and about but might get wet but like you know are just kind of doing whatever like and he doesn't like the liners in his so this one doesn't have a liner in it and they're just solid gray and plain and hopefully he likes them he doesn't mind like the like hawaiian kind of print ones but he already has those so i wanted to get him something different so I got him those. Now Lorelai's, as soon as it came, I think it's going to be too big for her. I don't think it's going to fit. I got it in her age size, but in her size size. And you never know when you order from Timu, but I think these bottoms are going to be way too big. But this is the bottoms. They're just cute little rainbowy vibe to them. And then this is the top. This one smells funny. When you pull it out of the package, it needs to be washed big time. I might wash it when I do the other stuff because if it doesn't fit her this year then she'll probably have to wait but we'll see we'll see if it fits so that's what i got for her it, that one smells bad um and then to go with them i got them like i said some shoes for pool time so lorelei's are the cutest she likes cinnamon roll from sanrio and they have these slides that have cinnamon roll on them and that's her favorite character right now. So I figured she would absolutely love these. How cute are they? They have little holes in the bottom. I don't know what that's, if it's like for just a cushy walk or what. But we um, have boats and we go to the pool, the community pool. And so I just thought that these would be good for anything kind of like that for her. And they're so cute. And then the boys, um, I got... Braxton, he last year was looking at a pair of Crocs that were similar to this. Not exactly the same, but similar. These are a plastic mesh, and the ones he was looking at were like a mesh mesh. But um, they're like a Croc style with the mesh, and Crocs are great for like going to the lake and being on the boats and stuff, because you just put that down and like it keeps your shoes on, and then you have like a decent pair of coverage on your feet. So that's what I was thinking getting him those. And same with Eric. Eric's came a little misshapen, so I have another thing I got for him. Which 
shoved into them because I was trying to fix the shape. But I got him these. And they're very styled. Like that did fix the shape. Um, they look like Crocs, but they say sport right here instead of Croc because the Croc ones say Croc. But he likes camo. And so I got him the camo style. Again, thinking for um, the going just running to the pool, going to the lake, playing outside like in the backyard or whatever. And then in there are country balls. He likes Germany. And um, it was a two pack of these. And I just, um, these had like a bend in them because they had been like, you know, the way they ship them. So I just shoved the country balls in there and they have been, they've been keeping them so that they'll be in the right shape when it's time to gift them to him. I'll be putting together the Easter basket. Let's see, you're seeing this Thursday. I'm recording it Wednesday. You're seeing it Thursday by Friday is when I'll be putting together Easter baskets for my kiddos. I need to run shopping today, Thursday, to get any last minute stuff. And then um, I'm probably gonna get the boys each pair of flip flops too because Laura I got the sandals for her outfit and then um, the slides and I, I didn't find any for Eric. I'm going to run to Walmart for to see if I could find some for him. But I got these for Braxton. They're very, very lightweight. They kind of look like K-Swiss. They're definitely a stem from K-Swiss. And these match that swimsuit shorts that I got him. But these, you know, just an easy pair of foam flip-flops. I mean, a slightly better than Dollar Tree. They're fabric right here, so they're going to be more comfortable. And um, they're cute. They're just basic black and gray. I think he'll like those. And like I said, I still need to run to Walmart and I'll probably grab a pair of flip-flops from Walmart for Eric. Because I don't want them to be Dollar Tree flip-flops. I want them to be slightly nicer. But, um, yeah. So that's the clothing items. So some of the stuff in here are either for baskets or to help. I always try to help the the bunny whenever I can so I don't know which is which if the bunny's gonna want any of the stuff Eric he's always my wild card he likes off the wall things so you saw the country balls I got for him and he's also really into skibbity toilet and so he's not mainstream I can't just go to the store and pick stuff up for him um and this is one of the skibbity toilet characters it's a little stuffy of that and he has a bunch of them he might already have this one I don't know all the characters and I don't know what characters he has, but I got this. It's going to go in his Easter basket because Lorelai has a um, peep, like a big old peeps, the tie dye one. And so then he also has a plushie. I can't remember if Braxton does or not. Probably not, but I don't remember. I need to sort through everything because I don't remember everything I got everybody. I also got Eric a flag banner. It's all a bunch of different country flags because he likes country balls, which you saw that are tucked in the shoes. And um, he's into flags and like facts about flags and facts about countries and stuff. And so I thought he would like this. We could hang it in his room or he can just play with it. Whatever his little heart desires, he gets really into flags. So I'm gonna put this in his Easter basket as well because it's something he's into. And he's he's difficult. Do you have any of those kids that are just, they're not into mainstream things? I mean, he'll, he, I can't get that back in there. He's okay with like Minecraft or, um, he's not really into Fortnite, but he's fine with Minecraft and stuff like that. What's the other one? Among Us. But overall, like, the things he's into are very unique things. All right. I also, as I'm looking in here, nothing's in order. The kiddos. Okay. We'll do this until I can find what I'm looking for. I got Laura Light another phone, or a new phone case. Um, she was talking about wanting one for the summer, so I'm a little bit different. And to be able to put a different, like, other than her pop socket on. Man. Okay. I can't get it open. I can't get my fingers in there. So I did pick her up this one. Turn the paper around because it makes it harder to see the... It's um, Cinema Roll, who is her favorite. And this one holds a card in it, which she doesn't necessarily need a card holder because 
she's not walking around with a card but she put like a dollar or two in there if she needs to or whatever and so i think she'll dig that because it's super cute and she likes cinnamon roll and then she can put on a different type like not a pop socket but put on like she wants the lanyard style one she has like a little ice cream one she wants to use so she'll be able to do that um for the boys for their easter baskets i am probably going to regret this choice but i think they're both going to dig them they're little cannons and um i don't know exactly how it shoots i'm sure it's just a spring operated but there's little missiles in there and a target and they're i think the cannon is real metal but the missiles are not and neither is the target the target's not correct either the way it's on there but they have two different color targets so that's neat and I just think the boys will dig that. It was something I know Eric will, and I think, sorry guys, Braxton will too. And Braxton's at the age where it is so hard to shop for that kid because he is at the age where it's hard to shop for him. Um, he likes gaming stuff, and it's expensive, and he doesn't just get all gaming stuff. Okay. Um, at the stock show, so we live in Colorado and the stock show comes every year and they have booths where they sell things that like are way overpriced to be honest, but that's like any festival or stuff like that. And they had these magnet things, magnetiles, I don't know what you call them, but he wanted one and he never ended up getting one. The other day he actually was like, like you didn't let me get one of those, but I found one on Timu for a fraction of the price. Um, then what you find it at there. Um, and now I can't make it into a square again, but it's like a little puzzle thing that like shapes around. So that's going to go in his because he didn't, the other two ended up with some and he didn't. And so now he will. Um, I got all three of them because it's kind of that time to like, mostly it was for the boys, but then I found a cute one for Lorelai. They've been needing new wallets, Braxton especially, but this one is for Eric. Um, it's camo. He likes camo. And it has like the good pockets in there when they have cash or change. It's a good way to, you know, try to keep it organized for them. So I got him a cute little camel wallet. I got Braxton. His was the one that I liked a lot. Um, it's like a pleather. It's not like a real leather, but it's kind of like a leather. And it had a B on it because of the brand that it is. But his name is Braxton. And so I thought that would be really cute. And it's he's 13 going on 14. You know, he's always had like the cute little kid wallets, but this one's a little bit more grown up. And so I thought maybe he would like that. And if he still likes the kid ones, then that's fine too. One of the ones that the both, both the boys have is an in and out wallet. Um, and then Lorelei, it's cinema roll, which was just really cute. And I just, I thought she would love it. So I got that one for her. So they're each gonna get a wallet. So I'm trying to think practical as best I can because they just have stuff um, in each of their wallets. The other ones are somewhere in there. I got these cute little um, card notes and this one says to my son, always remember you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think and loved more than you know, love mom. And then the other two, because they're my bonus babies, I got um, to my daughter and to my son and I said, love dad. It's from both of us, but it was kind of, they didn't give you the other option. It was mom or dad. So I thought that that was just a nice little addition to put in there to let them know how loved they are. Then the two boys have in here some socks. This one says, do not disturb. I'm playing Fortnite. And that's Braxton's favorite game right now. And so I got him a pair of socks just, you know, for when he's at home and uh, wants to throw on a pair of socks and then Eric is also into chess and so I got him a pair of chess socks because it's something he's into um I don't I'm not necessarily showing everything because if um our little friend that comes to visit decides that they want to borrow any of it I don't want the kids to see all right, this one is for my husband. I thought that he would like this. It says rats rule. He's building a rat rod in our garage right now. It goes between like a shop and the garage for welding and stuff, but he's busy building a car. He likes rat fink. This is rat fink. I think rat fink is scary and ugly, but 
he's been putting the stuff up in the garage for himself and I like it that he's like enjoying that space. So this is a little something that I'm giving him for Easter because you know the kids get spoiled but we don't necessarily get spoiled and so I wanted to get him that. Um, I did find some cute cards on um, Timu that like I don't see anywhere else and so I picked them up. This one says there's no one I'd rather annoy the fuck of at sorry um, language guys I'm gonna I'm gonna use a bad word so just beware but I thought it was fun it says there's no one I'd rather annoy the fuck out of for the rest of my life so sorry language this would have been great for Saint or for Valentine's Day but um, and it's blank on the inside and it says best wishes on the back and it's got little hearts but I'm going to do it as a just because card because I like cards they are something that make me happy and so I'm just going to like do these as just random just because and then this one says I'm so glad I went on a date with a complete stranger from the internet because we met on the internet and so I thought that that was fun and they're just unique cards they were two dollars and some change I think um and they're not something you're just going to find at Dollar Tree or the grocery store or <coughs> other places you find cards um for all three of the kiddos they use like earbuds they use headphones they use all the things i did get this multi-cleaning tool for earbuds because they just get dingy and gross when they keep going those kids ears and those kids aren't great at cleaning out their ears so they're each gonna get some some cleaning doodads to clean out their earbuds that we are getting close to the end this is a lego set or a uh lego inspired set um i don't think i can really show you it is skibbity toilet oh and you get the five one two three four five different characters out of this and i believe i'm gonna put this in his easter basket and so um he likes these and i like it that the books come some of them from timu you get a qr code to do it and you do it from like which is also neat but but that one is fun the bummer is is like this is the box it came in I guess maybe I can take the cup like this maybe and like put it on the outside of it and put it in the Easter basket because then he can see what it is otherwise it's just like a black box and you can't tell so it doesn't look so cool so that is for his Easter basket like I said his has been my biggest struggle my biggest struggle guys and that might be about it that I'm going to share and we're right at the right timing so I do have coming um, some new dog beds for the pups for Easter because the one they have a crate right here they have beds all over they have a real big fluffy one that's kind of like under our bench in our dining room they have the one that's usually on the couch and this we have people over it's right next to the couch they have one that's under my desk in the front room so they're like spoiled they have lots of beds but the ones that are in their crate they if they're in their crate for too long they tear them up and they pull all the cotton out and they just did that with one so now they just have one in there that they're sharing so hopefully the ones that are coming from Timu will be good enough to put in the crate and will last a little while um I'll show that just here in a picture um because I don't think it's going to get here by the time I upload this video and hopefully they get here before Easter because that's the pup's Easter gift but that's what I got for you today from Timu thank you so much for being here I appreciate you um just being here with me guys so I hope you're having a wonderful week if you're doing anything I have a cough that I'm trying to stifle if you're doing anything um I hope that you're prepared and ready if you're not doing anything I hope you're going to enjoy your not doing anything because that's really nice too sometimes and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys